Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we'll be showing you how to install Fresh RSS. Now Fresh RSS is just a way to easily manage your RSS feeds in one easy spot. So the idea with this and why it's a good tool is that let's say there's a few podcasts you listen to and um, news articles that come out and just whatever. It could just be blogs that you like and stuff like that. Rather than having to go to all of these sites you can actually view them via RSS feeds right. The great thing about this is that you can actually have them all in one central spot and that's where free uh, fresh rss comes in so the idea is let me just show you um a demo they have because demos speak a lot better than words as you can see here that you can easily see da, 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 that there's all of these posts and blogs set up where you can just easily browse so each one when as soon as one is released your fresh rss feed will be updated and you can view it so here we can click on this one here and you know you can read the post that just came out um for whatever things that you're following and you can make categories so on the left here you can see we've got blogs um we've got comics development anything that you want to make a category on and put, uh, put it in there you can so without talking too much let's show you how you can get this set up so back on the fresh rss page they do have a github now in this GitHub, uh, they do have multiple ways that you can get this set up, right? So um, you can do automated installs with Docker. Uh, they've got, and if we go into that Docker page, they've got a setup uh, where of a bunch of commands you can run. But with me, I like to use Docker Compose as much as I can. And when it comes to Docker Compose, which is what I try to do, is I see if Linux server on um, Docker Hub have a fresh RSS image that they maintain. And in this case, they do, which is great. And you can see that uh, from the date of this video, it was updated three days ago, which is great. And it shows that it's actively maintained. And the great thing about this is that they have a simple Docker Compose file for us to use to get this set up. Again, uh, for, if you haven't fully read the title, uh, the idea behind this is that we'll be using Docker and Docker Compose to get this set up. So I have some links in the description below for you um, so you can get set up with Docker, Docker Compose. I also have a video as well um, that shows you how you can install Docker and I'll put a, a little tag in the top left of this video, top right, wherever it shows up. Um, but enough talking, let's show you how you can get this set up. So what I like to do when creating Docker containers is that you can see from on the right hand side that I have a directory here, which is documents, Docker containers, and then fresh RSS. Now within fresh RSS, uh, I will have my Docker compose file, right? So, and all I'm doing in that Docker compose file is copying everything on the left into it. So I'll show you what's in it. I can spell. And all I'm doing here is uh, I've made a few changes. So the time zone, I've changed to my time zone and the volumes. I have said uh, create the config within the folder where I have the Docker Compose file. Uh, big reason for that is that I know that where the configuration of my Docker container lives rather than just putting it somewhere else in my file system and I accidentally remove it because I go, what is this random config file? And now I've just lost all the configuration for my Docker. So it's best to keep them all in one central spot. Um, but that's pretty much it if you're using the Linux server version of this uh, image. So let's save it and exit out. And let's tidy up the terminal. And all we need to do from this point on is just to run docker hyphen compose up hyphen D. Now what this command will do is it's saying that there's a docker compose file in this directory. We want to spin everything up, create everything in that docker compose file and run in detach mode, which means this docker continue, will continue to run even after this terminal session has been closed. We hit enter. Now, my Docker container came up really quick because I've already got the image downloaded. You might see the image downloading, uh, so just give it a little time and then you should be done. Now, as soon as that's done, all you need to do is access your local uh, directory. Now, uh, sorry, your local host uh, on your device. Because as you can see on the top bottom left here where I'm highlighting, this is running on port 80. Now, if you already have something running on port 80, you can change it. So uh you can run this container as well as whatever else is running your port 80. now so all we need to do is go into 127.0.0 and here we can see we are now in the installation for fresh rss and what we can do is hit submit because language is english what i want 
Now it's going to do a few dependency checks, and as long as all of this is green and says OK, you should be good. Now, there are a few types of databases here. We have three. We have SQLite, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. Now, uh, SQLite is perfect if you are just running a little uh, fresh RSS for yourself, um, and it's not going to be massive, and there's not going to be many people accessing it, stuff like that. Um, MySQL, uh, if you want to do this, and you're planning on your fresh RSS to be quite big, um, and a lot of users and people accessing it and whatnot, then you can host another container or a whatever running MySQL, and then you can link it in um, to your fresh RSS as your backend database. Uh, same applies for your Postgres SQL as well. For this case, we're just going to be running with SQLite because it's perfect for our use case. Now, if I hit submit, we now create the default uh, user. So I'm just going to put admin, and we can change the password. Well, we'll set a password, so let me set my password. And hit submit. There we go. We're all set up. So if we complete installation, log in as our user, it's actually that easy. And so we now have fresh RSS installed. But let's have a play around. Right. So I've just come in here uh, just to have a look at some um, RSS feeds that I might be interested in. So let's have a look at this Mac OS X daily RSS feed. So what I can do is close that and I'll copy this feed link here. So this applies to any. Uh, RSS feed that you find that you want to do they will have a link where you can copy just grab that RSS link that you want on whatever news site or blog or wherever Come into fresh RSS and hit the plus now. We want to create a category. I'm just going to call this uh, Mac OS and I hit add So now I have a Mac OS category here. we we'll add an RSS feed Paste that link that we just grabbed and I'm going to put that under the Mac OS category and I hit add and now you can see here, RSS feed, Mac OS, uh, daily has been added. Great. So now if I come back to the fresh RSS top left, we can see I now have all of these things here uh, all set up. So here we can see that everything has now been put in here. So now if I want to read this one here, I can. Um, and you can do this with you know any of your RSS feeds. But honestly, that's pretty much all there is to cover. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just make your categories, add your feeds, Done. You now have a central spot to manage all of your RSS feeds. Uh, but that's pretty much all I needed to cover in this video. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.